Nico Rima will serve a 12-month community corrections order and was fined $5,000. He had a conviction lodged on his record. Loading Court heard the former junior Kangaroos and Queensland under-20s representative had torched close to $1 million after the Roosters ripped up his $475,000 a year deal following the affair. A police statement of facts claimed Nico Rima contacted his agent Isaac Moses, who attended the sentencing, and Tilda Koshaba, a player welfare coach and partner of Sports Wellbeing International, to assist in his appeal to the NRL in late 2017 over the 12-match ban. The NRL provided documents to police in April last year relating to Neko Rima's appeal, which fell apart. When the Code's Appeals Tribunal held over its hearing for a day to speak to Kieran, Nico Rima couldn't contact his old teammate to back up the false statutory declaration as he was on an overseas cruise. Police later executed a search warrant at Rugby League Central to obtain material relating to the appeal when a complaint was made by a Wyong Roos official. Nico Rima declined to be interviewed when he spoke with Queensland detectives last year. He entered a guilty plea on Wednesday where the court heard he was a young man with a God-given talent who had made an enormous mistake. Nico Rima had bought his mother and father, who is a fly-in fly-out welfare officer at Manus Island, a house in Brisbane and had tried to make his parents proud. Clearly, you're a talented footballer and clearly come adrift in Sydney, magistrate still told Nico Rima. This is an offence that strikes at the very heart of the process of people signing statutory declarations. It's a really serious matter, Kieran also pleaded guilty last September to willfully making a false declaration for material benefit to help a mate. This is an offence that strikes at the very heart of the process of people signing statutory declarations. Magistrate Gary Still Kieran didn't event attend the Mad Monday gathering after the Ruse New South Wales Cup grand final loss and was working as a plumber at the time. But after Neko Rima had sent several text messages to teammates asking for help to avoid getting sacked and offering to pay up, Kieran agreed to sign the document and enter the address of the Mad Monday party. Kieran was last year sentenced in Wyong local court to six months imprisonment, but the term was served by way of an intensive correction order meaning he avoided jail. Nico Rima played just seven NRL matches for the Roosters during the 2016 season and has been training in Queensland in a bid to resurrect his career.